Prime Minister James Marape was in Leh for two days this week. He arrived on Wednesday, May the 24th, and addressed the Tutumang House Assembly, becoming the first Prime Minister to do so in Morabe province. On Thursday, May the 25th, he had a breakfast session with the business community at the Leh Yacht Club. During that time, he gave brief overview of his visit to the University of Technology the previous evening to address concerns regarding the PNG-US Defense Cooperation Agreement. PM Marpe clarified that the DCA is nothing new, alluding to the Defense Visiting Forces Act 1975, which sets out the basis on which defense forces of friendly countries, together with certain civilian support staff, may be in PNG. The Act also provides for the state to enter into agreements with other countries in this regard. PNG has signed defense cooperation agreements with Indonesia and Australia. Marpe said the DCA, including other government deals, are all interlinked to save and improve PNG's economy. At the very earliest, we want to push the economy to a 200 billion tier economy. Uh, at that threshold, we will sustain the population growth that is happening, that has been happening consistently about 3% for the last 48 years. Yet yeah, the economy has not been about 3%. If you look at 3% as a cover figure, 3% and above, that is where our population has been growing. Marpe further divulged that the deal to bring USA's military support in it is also to address domestic security issues. Uh, with uh, this year we've signed, we've also signed an agreement for the Sea Riders Agreement with the USA Navy. And for the first time now, we have ability to monitor what is happening in our seas. A lot of illegal fishing going on. Uh, we now we have the capacity to know what is happening in our seas to stop those illegal fishing and hopefully bring home the fish. He assured that the private sector that his government does not operate on an ad hoc basis but through layers of scrutiny and due diligence.